gonna do? We're gonna look for some uh, yellowtails, mutton snapper, and black grouper. How are you gonna do that? Uh, I see all this them. really good smelling stuff here. <laughs> we have uh, our sand mix, which is just chum and sand, which feeds the bottom because uh -huh. the fish are down deep. And we have block chum, which we're gonna, we need to get it in the chum bag to help get these fish, let them know that we're here. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in our chum bag. We use, I like to use this large mesh bag. The food comes out fast and the bag stays clean. You just let it sit there. And that sets up the slick and the bigger pieces slowly drift to the bottom. Yep. And the fish will follow that right back up to the transom, right? That's it. Okay. Right now I'm just gonna drop some of this Brandon, down to the bottom to wake up the bottom, let them know that we're here and get the food going before we start fishing them. A lot of times people want to get their lines in the water real fast and these fish, you know, they're not ready for fishing line yet and they'll back off or they'll spook back, they, you know, because they're fish so much or we're not that far from Key West so they get fished a lot and patience is the best thing that you can do fishing these fish is feed them, give them time to get used to the food and you and, you know, and everything that's going on and then just start working them and then they just start coming as, you know, things start working. We have really clean water today and usually I like more of a dust in the water, mm -hmm. you know, it gives it more of a green look. And uh, so we, we're using a fluorocarbon leader today with these little lead head jigs. And that jig's gonna get us down deep to where the fish are and the fluorocarbon's gonna hopefully make the line invisible to the fish and hopefully get more bites that way. So, yeah, I imagine cl the clearer the water, the easier it is for the fish to see the boat. Exactly. Or the line or the hook or whatever. Right. All right, well, so, let's do it. Very good. As the chum slick works its magic, we get set to drop cut bait and squid down to the bottom in search of yellowtail snapper and big grouper. There you go. I like to call grunts the size grunt -tosauruses. That's the fish that built the state of Florida. Key West pork chop. <laughs> Let me go ahead and lower it down to the bottom. It'll quickly become obvious that you want to drop your lines off the down current side so they don't go under the boat. That's another thing about this. So look at the way Rob Delph hooks this. This is a lead head jig. Now, do you see a lead head in there anywhere? All you see is the very tip of the hook. Hiding it helps a lot. Dropping it right into the chum slick helps a lot. There he goes. What do you got there, Bubba? I got the man in the black suit. Black grouper. He's giving you a little tug. You got me in the bottom there. Got you down there? Yep, it's a good fish. All right. Yeah. Winch yeah. that puppy up. I got it in low speed. Yeah. He's coming up, Dean. Whoa. It's a good fish. Had to drop it in the, that low speed. <laughs> it was either, Whatever it takes. It was either him or me. Well, we'd prefer it Woo. to be him, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we got color. Coming up. I got it. Go ahead, guys. Oh, here he is. Under the boat. You grab him there, Dean. I don't want to get the corner of that lip. Ugh. Wow, that's a good one. Black grouper. We'll be done the rocks. <laughs> Love it. And contrary to all those restaurant menus, if you notice here, groupers do not have fingers. Okay? <laughs> These are fins. We make fingers out of them. No, that's true. When we return, we'll show you how to target one of the finest snappers your dinner plate will ever see.